Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We've just finished up in Rathole, so it's time to head on to the next town and see if we can find some more clues about the talisman. Got some pretty good equipment now. Nothing amazing, I still really want a rifle, but I'll take a anything that doesn't hold only one round. Ooh, encounter. Do you wish... To, oh, it's giving me a choice. Do I wish to encounter desperate junkies? Um... I mean... It's kind of fucked up, but if they're going to attack me, I kind of hope they attack me, and then I can test out my new my new Desert Eagle. Really sounds fucked up. But hey, it's self-defense. They're trying to kill me, right? And also, we could use the experience. An utterly desperate drug addict. He's willing to do anything to get belted. Oh. Looks like there's a little farmhouse here, too. There might be some loot or something. Okay, let's test this thing out. Holy shit! Yep, this gun's pretty strong. You're really gonna still come for me after seeing that. Okay, your funeral. Jesus Christ. I'd like to mention, by the way, there is a perk in this game called, I think, Bloody Mess that basically guarantees everybody dies in an extremely gruesome way. And I'd like to point out that I do not have that perk. Woof, woof. Hey, woofer. Keep on woofing. Wait, did I loot both bodies? That's the woman. That's the man, yeah. Wait, so she didn't even have a weapon. She was coming. She was going to try to punch me to death. She brought fists to a gunfight. Whew. All right, let's see if there's anything in here. Please don't be locked. Good. I wonder if they lived here or what. I guess they probably did. It's not looking good. Nope, nothing. All right, let's keep going. Again? <gasps> no, doggy! A pack of wild dogs. Oh yeah, there is another one over there. I was about to say a single dog is not a pack. Dog versus dog. No, I refuse. Let's go, Woofer. And we're out. Okay. I'm starting to think there's a higher chance of encounters perhaps in this mountainous region or something. I don't know, because I went from New Hope to Rat Hole. And back a couple times, delivering the messages, and I didn't have a single random encounter. Wanderers. Keep your hands where I can see them, don't try to rob me, I know all the tricks in the book. Eh, don't worry, don't worry. Save, just in case I mess this up. Can we trade or something? You want to trade? Okay, but I'll be watching you. Okay. What have you got? Some food, a little bit of caps, some beer, booze, <laughs> nothing much. Uh, you want this knife? You don't even have the money for the knife. Alright, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, it's really a good thing I decided to wait till I had better equipment before heading on to the next town, because all these encounters with my old pistol would have sucked. What I like best about the wilderness, there are no witnesses. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, they don't have weapons. Whoa, 28%. <gasps> is it because it's nighttime? I bet it's harder to see at night, isn't it? Hmm. All right, I'll shoot you from up close then. 
<laughs> I shot you in the head and broke your nose. Okay. Ooh. This isn't great. They do have weapons. Hmm. This is doing much less damage to them. I wonder... It looks like they have armor. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe the rounds I have loaded in this thing aren't good for people that are armored. Starting to think I should run away. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Alright, let's go. Well. Alright, this gun sucks against armored people. Now I know. I don't have any other types of ammo for it, right? Just... This. Yeah, they're hollow point. Yep. I'm not entirely sure what all this means, but... Pretty sure AC mod means armor class mod zero, so I think that means it basically doesn't pierce through armor at all. I don't know what DR is, though. Alright, if I encounter another group of heavily armored people, I'm just gonna run away. Getting lucky so far. Ooh, what's this? You've been ambushed by a group of ghouls. It seems they know more about you than you do yourself. Hope you didn't think you could run from us. What? Is this a cutscene? You know full well we wouldn't stop until we got you, wherever you went, however long it took. Ooh. Oh, this is like a story kind of ambush, isn't it? But the fact is, it ends right here and now. When they when it said it looks like they know more about you than you do yourself, I think they mean that quite literally. Not just a figure of speech, but you know, I have amnesia and all that, and they obviously know me. If only they talked to me so I could ask them about what the hell happened. But apparently, I did something to wrong them, or at least they think so. Well, I could run away, but for all I know, they might have, like, a, I don't know, notes on them or something that I need. And plus, since they're ghouls, they're totally unarmored. Hmm, melee, 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 gun. That's not a great chance to hit. I'll go for the torso. Oh, no, that person has a shotgun. Ooh, I want that. Um, I think I need to heal. Got a bunch of stim packs, luckily. Do I have some fruit? Yeah, I'll eat some fruit too. That has no negative effect and heals you just a little bit. Ah. Get him, woofer. Oof. Oof. Oh, they missed. It's always hard to tell whether they miss or not. Don't stab Woofer, assholes. I'm gonna get closer because my chance to hit isn't great. Uh, let's go for you in the head. Come on. Oh shit, I thought I was dead. I'm not. Uh, now I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing that encounter is probably guaranteed to happen. Since it's a story-based thing, so let's see if it appears again. Yeah, even with my almost 100% small gun skill, like, my, my accuracy still just blows. No! Mm-mm. Come on, Woofer. No! Hit for no damage. Oh. 
I see they haven't sharpened their fangs like my woofer. Yep, here we go. Okay. Uh, I can't do anything until this plays out. I'd like to save it, but yeah, I can't save it, and I'm pretty sure... I don't know if you're actually prohibited from saving during combat, um, but whether you are or not, I've heard that you're not supposed to, because it can cause stability problems. I'm not sure if that's specific to this mod, or, or just Fallout 1 and 2 in general. Either way, not going to save it during combat. Starting out with a miss, good. Twenty-six hit points. All right, better. Oh, they're just wounded. I'm really thinking I should get closer. I'm just gonna get closer. No, they hit woofer. Yeah, I'm just gonna get closer because they never seem to miss, but I miss. So let's just get a better percent chance to hit. Hit your buddy there. Mm. Dicks. No. Bad ghouls. Actually, why don't I just eat like all my fruit? Might as well use that up before the stims. Seems like they heal a random amount between like one and six hit points or something like that. All right, this is gonna be a real good chance to hit. Let's see, are you severely wounded? All right, one more hit shot should do it. Fuck, that's right, I healed and moved. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't even have enough action points to shoot them. Shit. I guess I'll reload. I'll get really close. Ow. Yes, they had to reload! Good! Oh, okay, it didn't matter. Shambly fuckers. I definitely still suck at combat. I die so easily. Even with my better equipment. I'm just so squishy. All right. Not dead. But they're knocked out, so I think I can ignore them for now. Okay, Woofer, please save me. Please just get their attention. If I only have to deal with a shotgun person, I think I'll be fine. Just don't stab me. Stop it. I'm going through all my freaking stims. Thirty-nine hit points. Loses an eye. All right. Yeah, critically hit. Ha <laughs> ha. Running away, coward. Oof. Silently gnawing on their bones. I guess I might as well just let them go, huh? I mean, even if I shot them, I couldn't get their body. They're in the load zone. And they're the one with the shotgun! No! Crap, I wanted that. Oh, well. Are they gonna disappear off the map, or what? Just gonna stay there? Alright. I mean, I guess I'll go shoot him. See what happens. I'll try to loot him in a second. Oh, whoa! Another talisman! Special symbolic meaning. Looks like it's the same description as the one I have, right? Does it stack? Yeah. Huh. So I'm not the only one with that talisman. 
So, did I perhaps steal it from them? Pistol? Nice, I can sell that. Alright, let's see if I can loot the body. Nope. Ugh. Swarm of mole rats. Well, I only see one, but okay. You critically missed and hit randomly. Did I hit myself? Wait, you gained one current radiation level. You gained, you gained, you gained... Oh, shit. Um... When did that happen? Was that when I just entered here? Fuck, I'm radiated. Radiation poison, the more radiation damage, the more deadly the effect. Well, that's not good. I do have meds for it though, so... Whew. Yeah, level up! Check around here first. This is the same as the Desperate Junkies encounter. So probably nothing in here too, right? Yep. Okay. Let's spend those points. Seems crazy to keep putting it into small guns, but... I really can't hit crap, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a decent amount... Is this doing what I think it's doing? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so once you go above 100%, um, it starts to cost two skill points to upgrade anything. So before we get to 100%, just costs one, but now at this point you go from 18, 16, 14, yeah. So diminishing returns. Well, I'll definitely get it up to 101%. Let's spread the love a bit. Let's get that up there. Let's get that up there, and let's start putting some love into lockpicking. Yeah, that's good. I think I gained four hit points, too. Cool. I feel like there's something I was going to do before I leave. Oh well. Oh right, radiation. Shit. Uh oh. <laughs> I hope I don't end up dead. D-O-A. Ooh, cave. Should be fun. They don't see me? Hmm. Yeah, I'm still radiated. I don't know what those negative effects are, but let's take care of that. Taken mm. before exposure, so that resists radiation, it doesn't get rid of it. This gets rid of it. Yeah, uh, it takes time to work though, so it might not work right away. You lost 14 current radiation level. Okay, I guess I'm good now. Come on, big one. So easy now. They probably dropped the tails, right? But I am not picking those up. They're worth jack shit, and they weigh like 10 pounds or something. Alright, let's see what's in here. Hopefully some bodies that I can loot. Whoa! Those are new. 
Geckos? Little gecko. They're cute. I'm guessing they're gonna try to kill me though, right? I remember hunting for gecko skins at the beginning of, I think, Fallout 2? Trying to scrounge up some money in the early game? Yep, they're coming for me. Don't know how powerful they are. It's an awful lot of them. Okay, well, they're not too powerful in terms of health. Oh, I think I scared him. Let's go after him. Oh my god. There's so many of them. It's like a huge family of geckos. There's like a dozen in here. Oh. Is there anything deeper in? I... No. I thought they'd keep running, but no, they're coming after me. Is there something over there? I'm curious, but... God, that's so many geckos. Do I really want to massacre them? Nah. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Come on, Woofer. Ah, we're finally there. Ah, <sighs> another greenhorn. <laughs> moo, moo, moo. Can I pass time? You know, I am sick of being at these places at night where I can't see garbage. And by can't see garbage, I mean can't see shit. So, and I just waited an entire day. Whoops. Okay, 8 in the morning. Good. Much better. Greetings. What do you want? Did you see old Peter's got work to do? I have a few questions for you. Okay then, ask. But be quick about it. My work won't wait. Tell me about Sedit. It's a caravan town. Everyone here is living off it. Whether you work directly for one of the three caravan companies or just sell them your merchandise, you're always somehow connected. Everybody is. Caravan trade is the reason why the town's so big and prosperous. We're gonna find work. Try one of the caravan companies. They're always hiring. Otherwise, let's say you read the bulletin board just a few steps from here in downtown. You could definitely find something interesting there. Who's in charge? Said it should be governed by the town council, but those big heads are hardly capable of setting up a meeting. That's the reason why almost all the governing is in the hands of the cops. I'm sure you'll soon find out for yourself. That doesn't sound good. Heard any interesting gossip? What gossip, dammit? I'm an honest farmer. I'm not interested in what people say. Alright, maybe at least know someone who knows any. You can try with them ghouls. He spits in disgust. I'm sure they're real good at gossiping. Hmm. Well, I just encountered ghouls a little bit out of town that had the talisman with them. Perhaps the other ghouls know something about that. Uh, what can you tell me about the ghouls? They're a disgrace to this town. That place of theirs is nothing else but one big ugly mess of trouble. Somebody should finally kick them out of there. I don't understand what the sheriff's still waiting for. And, well, forget it. I don't want to talk about them anymore. 
Alright. Look at my talisman. Have you seen this before? I'm afraid I haven't, but you can try asking one of the local merchants. They practically deal with everything, so one of them might have come across that trinket of yours. Okay, goodbye. Probably wouldn't like it if I go inside of his place. Well, nothing to steal even if I wanted to steal anything. interesting. Leave me alone. Why? Something happened? Do you want to talk about it? Leave me alone. I think I made myself very clear. Okay. Hmm. Probably have a quest to deal with him later. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Was that say Frederick's dream? Something like that. All right, let's back up a second. Guards, man for the caravans, man for the caravans. Hello, hello. Looks like they're guarding the cattle to me. At Frederick's dream, it's more about lives than merchandise, not the way it goes at other companies. Oh, that must be one of the caravan companies. Ah, so that's a cop. Hi. Alright, which one of you is Frederick? You, Frederick? My name's Frederick. If you're looking for caravans, you've come to the right place. I run this caravan company. What can I do for you? Could you answer a few questions? Mm, tell me about caravans. My caravans leave on the 9th and 23rd day of every month. If anyone comes at that time, they can join the caravan as guards. The routes are to Albuquerque and Koroth for 400 caps. Ah, oh, right, guard jobs. I think that existed in Fallout 2 as well. I think. Tell me about set it. I'm just gonna breeze through this one because we already heard about it. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have a job for me? The guard job. Oh wait, there's something else. Um also I'm currently looking for someone to do a couple of things for me here and set it. Okay. Tell me about the in-town business. You've came you've come just in time. You see, I was invited by a set it caravan to a private meeting in the official room. Apparently because of some issues from the last meeting that haven't been dealt with. It seems suspicious to me. I don't have a particularly particularly good relationship with the management of said company. So instead of going myself, I'd like to send someone able to handle more demanding situations. Do you feel up to it? I'd pay you well afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. Do me a big favor. The meeting's tonight. Please be careful. Oh, I'm, I'm like actually going there right now. Uh, what the hell are you doing here? Where's Frederick? I'm supposed to be meeting him, not you, whoever you are. Frederick asked me to represent him. Yeah? Well, I'm not going to waste my time with you. She turns to her people. Take care of her. Wow, these, like, I was hoping after the very beginning of the game, the dialogue might get a bit better, but it's still like, 
incredibly sexist. Like, all the time you can just call people like bitches and whores. Come on, can we talk about this? It's a cutscene. You gonna try to kill me? Alright. Critically hit. Damn. Well, at least it didn't uh, break any limbs. Oh shit, there's three of them. I didn't see the ones on the side. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. I might be about to die. Fuck, my chance to hit is so terrible. That is because of nighttime, right? They're armored too, aren't they? Which means I'm gonna do shit for damage. There's like no chance of me surviving this. Well, at least one's only got a knife, but still. Okay, I'll try my best. I've got some stims. Of which I'm gonna have to use all of them. They're not gonna miss me, so I'm just gonna get right up in their faces. I made the same mistake before where I used stims and moved. And now I get it to- oh my god, fuck me. No, I'm gonna die. No point. Okay. <clears throat> let's, um, let's maybe not do that quest just yet. Not quite yet. Soon, but not quite yet. Let's see if they can trade. Alright, doesn't look like I can trade with them. What about you in the back room? You a trader? You think you'd be able to trade with the caravans? Can you not? Police station. I'm getting the impression there's not much point in talking to the random people around. So, I don't think I'm going to bother talking to these people unless they stand out in some way. Whew, they're heavily armored. Could I speak with the sheriff? Of course you couldn't. If there's someone you need speaking to, it's me. I'm the sheriff's deputy. I have crime to report, do I? What crime? We don't like snitchers here. Shut your mouth and get lost before it gets hurt. I'm sorry, what kind of police are these? As you wish. Alright, mental note. I'm gonna have to drive these cops out of town. Looking for work. Got enough people on the force get lost. Uh, Alright, see ya. Don't provoke the police. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. Salem's. Another caravaner? Welcome. You must be new here. And you've come to the right place. Everybody will end up at Salem's one way or the other. I've got everything. What do you mean everything? Absolutely everything you might need, my dear. Even things you don't yet know you need. I've got supplies, wasteland equipment, things for entertainment, and some weapons too. Nothing too complicated, yet simple to kill with. I'm sure you don't have time to spend setting up some complicated rifle when a raider jumps on you. Uh, sure. And hear this, here on these shelves behind me are the special goods. Things you won't even see in other places. Each thing a unique, one-of-a-kind piece. Alright, show me what you got. 
Hopefully lots of money, because I got a lot of stuff to trade. Ooh, lockpicks, yes! I could very much use that. Includes all unnecessary picks and tension wrenches to open conventional pin and tumbler locks. How much is that? Probably expensive. Yeah, pretty expensive. What's this? I'm not sure what tools are for. Perhaps that gives you a boost to repair? Hmm. I feel like I should have that too. I don't know. Eh. Geiger counter. Well, that'd be handy. That's also very expensive. Doctor's bag. First aid kit. And lots of money. All right. Let's dump all my junk right here. Dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. Uh, wait a minute. I want to keep one of these pistols, right? Do I? Nah, fuck it. Mm. I mean, I guess I don't need this freaking letter. <laughs> I'll just sell it for free just to get rid of it. I don't think I'm going to need healing powders anymore. Yeah, let's get rid of all those. I think there's just junk in there. Eh, you can have it. Well, eh, I'll look through it. Are these talismans worth anything? Because I don't need four. They're worth one. Eh, I'll keep them. Don't think I need this rusty key either. That's actually worth money. Okay. Radio. What can you do with that? I have a vague memory of buying a radio and using it somehow, but I don't remember what for. Hunting rifle! Ooh, rifle, rifle, rifle. I want a rifle really bad. I'm sure it'd have way better accuracy. Right? I hope. How much is it? Mmm! I couldn't afford that even if I got rid of everything else here. That's like 3,000 or something? Christ. Uses these for ammo. Kiker counter would be nice too, but again, can't afford it. I think that's all I want. Maybe a stim? Oh fuck, that is ridiculous. Hell no. Like 600 for a single stim, even though it only heals like 15 hit points? Hell no. Took back some of my crap. Don't want to oversell too much. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now, what about that special stuff, huh? You look at the shelf with what's supposed to be special goods. This is what you see. A picture of some kind, a doll, a magazine, a rubber doll, a very, f a very familiar looking talisman. Hmm. What's on that picture? Salem hands you a framed picture of a man whose face has faded away long ago. There's some text beneath the picture saying... E-L-E-I. -E the rest is gone. That's the great L. It must have been a holy man of some kind. But the picture brings luck to its owner. Great thing for a 50, huh? Hmm. What do you bet that holy man is the person who said get the hell away from me? Back in that house. Alright, what the hell, I'll take it. Image of a singer, obviously very old. Image is a felt coating that is still in good condition. <laughs> Okay, so it's supposed to be a picture or a painting or whatever of a religious person, but that's just like the default painting that was in Fallout 2. It looks like Elvis, I think, or something. Okay, show me the doll. Hands you a small rag doll with a red nose. The words Mr. Nixon are written on its t-shirt. <laughs> no thanks. 
What about that magazine? Cat's Paw Magazine. If the miss is interested in a men's magazine, it's hers for 60 caps. Cat's Paw? Is that a magazine that gives you some sort of a skill? I don't know. Let's find out. I'll take it. I just dropped it. No, this is not something you actually read. Well, probably a waste, but hopefully somebody will want it or something. Inflatable doll. Ah, oh, it's a sex doll. Um, no thanks. Show me the talisman. When you take Salem's talisman into your hand, you find out it's the same as the one you'd had when you woke up in the cave. The talisman is your best clue to your forgotten life. Find the crafted talisman. It may possess magical powers, who knows? It's worth trying for a mere ten caps. Where did you get it? Well, my, such questions. Things are bought and sold. People come and go. Who's supposed to remember? But now that you mention it, I'm sure I got this from a man who traveled with a caravan. So, you buying? Dear God, man, where did that caravan come from? Try to remember. Could only have been from Karoth or Albuquerque. I don't have time to watch every caravan. I gotta earn a living. That brings me back to the talisman. The amazing price of ten cap... Okay. Well, no thanks, but it just does so happen that those two places are places I can um, go with the caravan on a guarding mission. Karoth or Albuquerque. So I guess one of those places are probably going to be my next stop. Alright, see ya. Ooh. That's the sheriff's place. Holy crap. Ooh, a merchant. What do you sell? Cattle prod. Leather armor. Jesus Christ, no. Pipe rifle. Pretty sure that's... Yeah, that's garbage. Just based on how cheap it is, I'm pretty sure that's a very bad rifle. Nothing spectacular, but they do have some caps, so... How much can I resell this for? Five. Shit. Resale value on that's not too good. So I've got about 1,500 caps. All right. Anything to talk to him about? Tuck my questions up my ass. All right, goodbye. Everyone here is very lovely. Looks like that's the job board. Let's take a look. Oh. My. God. Whew. Uh, take a look at the largest paper. Set it, caravans. Mm-hmm. Continue reading. We have drinks. Okay. Cool. Caravan guards. All right. Uh, so it's just a bunch of advertisements for caravans. Fed Extreme Company located in Short Lane. Uh-huh. Pistols, machine guns, blah, blah, blah. Weapon shop on Main Street. Okay. Spectacular range of goods, not just for adventures and unique valuables. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the person I just talked to. Swear to God, cheapest booze and set it only in Crater on Main Street. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not seeing any jobs here. And for some reason, there's two options to leave. Curious, what happens if I press the other one? They both leave. Oh, this is the meeting place. Let's speak with a man.
continues to scribble something down. He doesn't even raise his head from the papers to look at you. I'd say you got the wrong door. This is no public house, hotel, or a gun shop, so please leave. What is this place, then? You could call it the town's administrative building. This is the place where town council meetings take place. At the same time, it is my house and workplace. I am the chief, and in fact the only, town's clerk. My purpose is to provide records from the meetings and other things you would hardly understand. Unfortunately, I also have to provide basic information about the town. Oh, another lovely person. Great, I've got some questions. What's the history of said it? Mm, created just like any other town. It was created just like any other town. It was built on pre-war ruins. There were conflicts at first. Wait. Anything interesting? Okay, something interesting. It was Nicole who managed to get a firm grip on things. She established a caravan company and the police. So I don't know if Nicole is still around, but if she is, then she's the one that established the police. What happened then? As the town prospered thanks to its suitable location, there was greater demand for caravans. And where there's demand, supply will soon follow. <clears throat> How to say it so you'll understand? Well, another caravan company was established, Frederick's Dream. Said it traded with towns, our caravans traveled even to the distant hub. Before that unfortunate thing happened. Hmm? What thing? Almost two years after our contacts with the hub started, it was destroyed by a huge group of super mutants. Those dreadful creatures spread all over the wasteland after the master's death, destroying whole towns. Oh yeah, let me just back up for a second here, by the way, in case you haven't played um, Fallout 1. Um, again, Fallout 1.5, kind of as suggested by the title, takes place in between Fallout 1 and 2. And the master... I don't remember much about it, but the master was some sort of a thing that, I guess, like, controlled the super mutants, and, um, you killed it at the end of Fallout 1, I think? So that's what it's talking about when it says, after the master's death, destroying whole towns, um, sorry, the super mutants spread all over the wasteland after the master's death, destroying whole towns. Lots of people that survived that attack or ran away before it settled here. They live in the quarter that's now called Little Hub on account of that. There's... Uh, that's also where the third, uh, that's also where the third caravan company, the Crimson Caravan, is located. The Crimson Caravan was the most successful of the hub's companies, and with its destruction, its owners lost everything. They managed to take up a very strong position here, nevertheless. Okay, so refugees from the hub. Uh, in what way? He sighs warily again. I was hoping he knew at least something about the town, but I see that I was indeed a that was indeed a false hope. In order to prevent disputes or even fighting, the town council was established. Its purpose is to make decisions with relation to the town. Frederick managed to influence its establishment, so now we have three council members, just as there are three caravan companies. Each caravan owner has one vote. Don't try to count them. I'll tell you right away it adds up to three votes. So in order to pass a decision, two votes are required. What a condescending asshole. Alright, so power struggle. Obviously one or both of the other caravan companies are trying to get Frederick out of the game. Which is why they try to murder him. Tell me more about the town council. Uh, the members are all owners of caravan companies. Nicole from Sedit Caravan. Okay, so she's the one that brought in, uh, founded the police. Sedit Caravan. Dimitri from the Crimson Caravan and Frederick from Frederick's Dream. Okay. Hmm, to agree sometimes seems an unimaginable problem, and so they only meet in exceptional cases. They met quite recently, but it was after an extended period of time. Why did they meet? Falcon's Flight was becoming a frequent target of all sorts of attacks. It's horrible, but not surprising, really. The police didn't show any interest, so the council voted 2-1 to one for the sheriff to place special guards around Falcon's fli uh, flight to prevent these attacks. Who voted against? Excuse me, I'm not in a position to provide you with such information. <laughs> okay. Fine. I think I saw a cave north from this quarter. What's in it? 
Oh, that's not a cave. It leads to the other side of those rocks, to a place we call the Lost Town. It's not really a part of the town. It's not governed by the police, and it's mainly filled with lost souls. I guess I'm correct when I think you'll go there no matter what I tell you. Well, it might just be the place for you. Fuck you. Also, why do the police stay away from there? They say they wouldn't be able to keep the place in check due to a large number of hostile people, and it's problematic access. It's quite a long way if you want to get in by going around the rocks. And the tunnel access is filled with death claws, so the police's only interest in the thing you call a cave is keeping death claws from coming out of it. Holy crap! Well, I'm not going in there if there's death claws, because I am not equipped to take them on. You don't sound like you actually believe that. I don't care how I sound. I'm not entitled to doubt what our police say, and I don't mean to. Hmm. So it sounds like there's something, perhaps, that the police don't want found in the town. Some reason they're kind of cutting it off, other than death claws that may or may not exist. It's definitely worth checking out, because maybe the death claws are just a myth, just to keep people from going into it, you know? Maybe they're not actually there. Work. Caravan town. Try some caravan companies. Uh-huh. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I think that's it for this location, other than perhaps the sheriff's place, but I don't think I'm getting in there. What with the laser fence and all? Oh, what the heck is this? Does this go to the... The cave place? Oh yeah, it does. Nope. Not yet. Alright, I want to bring that picture back to that strange, sad person. I think they were here. Let's see if my hunch was right. We try to use the item on them, I guess. That does nothing. Damn it! My hunch was wrong. Let's go see if we can get in the sheriff's place. What? Um, I need to speak with the sheriff. Most certainly do not. You're telling me you won't let me in? That's exactly what I'm saying. Damn. Foiled again. All my plans. <laughs> Can I try to walk in and I'll just die? Or No, you can't even try to walk in. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I continue, I'm going to head more this way. See what's over here. Uh, I'm sure the Crimson Caravan or something is over there. Some of the other caravan companies. Kind of get the lay of the land, and then I think once I've done that and sort of talked to everybody, I'll start doing some quests. <laughs>